Okay, we're going to start drawing 4.2-2. So we're going to go to New, Standard IPT, Create Part. Uh, one thing about this part is it's supposed to be in millimeters. So we're going to change that under Tools, Document Settings, click on Units, Length, is now in millimeters. Hit Apply, Close. I'm going to start a 2D sketch, the XY plane. We're going to draw a rectangle first. I'm going to draw this one, which is 30 by 40. Start my rectangle too. I like to come to the origin. I get things started. So I'm going to go 30 wide, type it in, tab it over, type in 40, hit enter. That's going to make my uh, first rectangle. I'm going to hit home view because I've lost what all is going on. Looks fine. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to go to 3D model. I'm going to extrude that. I'm going to actually extrude it 60 millimeters. Change it right there to 60. All right. Got to rotate slightly. I'm going to draw this portion, cut this portion out here. So I'm going to grab this side. I'm going to hit Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to pan over by pushing down the mouse wheel. Um, I see that the 25 plus 10 is 35 minus 60, so it's 25 wide and 15 high. We'll come over here. I'm going to do one that is 25 wide, so I'm going to type in 25. I'm going to hit Tab. Type in 15, I'm going to enter. You see that I did not draw it in the same place. I kind of left it out. I'm still in the rectangle tool, so I'm going to right click, click OK. Now I'm going to dimension it first of all this side. So I know that it's 10 millimeters from this side to the edge. So I'm going to dimension that. Grab that side, grab this side. Click it. Type in 10 millimeters. OK. Then I'm going to come over to the collinears. This is one of your geometric constraints. So if I click this, click that top line, and this line, it makes them uh, flush. So that way it's right in the right position. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude. So extrude's trying to figure out what to do. You see that little red arrow whenever you're in your profile? It's asking which profile you want to extrude. So I'm going to tell it. I want this one. Uh, what I want to do is actually cut. I don't want to add material. I want to be subtractive and cut. So I'm going to come over here in the bottom corner. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go through all. And it's going to cut a hole all the way through that material. And I'm going to click OK. So I have that portion. Now I'm going to come over and do this square right here. So I'm going to click that face. Start new sketch. I see it's 10 high by 15 wide. So I'm going to draw a... 15 wide, tab, hit 10, enter. All right, so I have my thing. I'm still in rectangle tools. So I'm going to click OK. I see there's three millimeters over to the side, so I'm going to go ahead and dimension that. Click from here to there. Get my value. Click it, edit it, three. And I see that it is five millimeters up from the bottom. So I'm going to still on my dimension tool. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab that line. If it doesn't give it to me, I'm going to grab it again. And that's going to come out here and allow me to change that to 5 millimeters. So therefore, this is all properly placed. And finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude cut. So I'm going to grab, once again, you notice it's that little red arrow head's right there. So it doesn't know what to extrude. I'm going to tell it I want to extrude this area. But I don't want to add material. I want to subtract. I'm going to come over here, go through all. Check. Okay. And that is our, oh, Nelly. That is our sketch. If I can get it to look more like you should. So that's our sketch as per what's on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and file. Save. 4.2-2. And you're done.